at him go. Here, Gordon. Gucci, Gucci, Goo, Gordon. I'm going to tickle your gobbler thing right there. Ooh, he didn't like it. <laughs> Fuck. They all, yeah. Look, it has to be distended. <laughs> Fuck. What does their actual tongue look like if I drop it on the ground? Let's see. We picked up a few. We have to see how long and ridiculous they appear. Let's see. Let's drop one. Yo, this is it? This is their little tongue? Oh my god. Yo, look. This thing is tiny. I know tongues and stuff can, like, shrivel up, and especially if you get, uh... I mean, I don't know that, right? <laughs> Obviously, I don't know about tongues shriveling up. Why would anyone know about tongues shriveling up and stuff? But... <laughs> I know they can, like, be compressed, given enough... Pre that sounds like I'm still a psychopathic murderer. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to oh, Oblivion, the Shivering Isles edition. We are out here in the middle of Con, Can Con. I'm not sure, but it's looking amnesia the dark descent as hell, isn't it? My god. Jeez, can already hear the creaky, cracky, I don't know, what whatever, like, cracking noise that is so omnipresent in that game. Anyway, we're heading in here deeper. Been a while since we had one that started in a dungeon, right? Goodness. Oh, shit. Look at... <laughs> He's very carefully going down the stairs. Look at him go. <laughs> is that... Is that an idle animation, or... Okay, okay, I thought, I thought for some reason the stairs had, like, wigged it out, and the animation of it moving got slowed down immensely. Look at this thing over here, I have no idea what that's about, but... Let's shove some shit over here, and take care of you. Doink! There we are. Good enough. Cool. And should we juice up? Absolutely. Let's see, what have you got? Tongue, I guess I'll take it. Okay, let's do some quick repairs. Whip out our torch. Push button. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, my gosh. A sexy masturbation chamber. All right. What have we over here? Nothing much in there. Just a weak healing potion. Oh, weird. Okay. And this is like when those people found that shrine to Danny DeVito inside that school a few months back. Or was that a year ago now? I don't know. You remember hearing about that in the news or something? <laughs> At some, like, college, I think? bathroom someone had like lifted a a bathroom wall tile and there was like a area of the building that was unused like a small like little area that had just been walled off and they built a shrine to Danny DeVito back there and then someone had to record it and it got of course it went internet famous and then what happened they took the shrine down what the fuck let's see let's head on over here speed this up there we are and let's grab all these things. Good. That's a, a philosophy question, right? Is it better to have not known of the shrine so that the shrine could continue to exist for those who knew of it? Or is it better that the world knew that it did exist, if only for a brief moment in time? Oh, so that we could all share in the love and joy. I don't know. Philosophize me, Captain. There we go. Send out some perp. And chop this dude up in his gangly-ass creepy legs. There we go. Good. What have you got there? Nothing much. Maybe their legs grow off of some of these spines and stuff, right? Huh. And yeah, maybe all of these are just, like, legs to come from the future. Right? Like, if a leg gets chopped off... Well, no. Because then they would look really freaky, right? If some of them were missing their proper legs, and they had grown a few on their back and were using that. Oh, actually, that would be pretty freaking dope. There we go. Got you. Check your fart tree. Anything in there? No. Alright. Or perhaps they're like a porcupine, right? A porcupine. Maybe they can even shoot them. Like projectiles, but they just choose not to because if they do that... Ooh, they're like bumblebees. They also die. <laughs> it's their last ditch effort. Oh god. Let's see. Send out some of that. Get the perp out. There we go. Dude is like doing a sexy leg dance. Juice up there. There we are. Excellent. Man. Ugh. Gosh, look at that. Look at their 
fucking toes or whatever these are. Ugh. Man, they look almost like trees or something, don't they? Huh. Weird. We never really got the opportunity to fully appreciate them. And of course they look very emaciated, right, as you would expect. They're called hungers and everything. Weird. Okay. Yeah, if something is called a hunger and it's like some sort of demon, you either expect it to be extremely huge and bulky or extremely shriveled. Let's see. Grab all these. If we can. Look through here. Alright, man, there are just a lot of them in here. And so far, seemingly no reason as to why, right? Huh. Let's see, Daedric Arrows. Now nah, we'll pass on that. Grab some of these. Oh, God. All right. Oops, wrong thing. There we are. Send out the perp. Good. Let's drink some blue while we're at it. Let's juice up. Good. Are we under attack? No. Okay, good. We'll pass on the tongue. Let's see, anything else around here? Here we are. Let's see, anything over here? Eh. Oh, also, by the by, I asked about knowing which ones may contain what we're seeking. And general viewer Doom Guy wrote in and said that, hey, maybe Swamp Tentacles might be one that you're missing out so far. All right, so definitely all Swamp Tentacles we should have a look at. Okay. Let's see, anything up here? Check these. No. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, hey! Must have been the wind. Yeah, it must have been the wind. Okay, let's shoot some shit over here. There we are. Good. Huh. Are they... <laughs> they don't seem to... They don't seem to mind! Maybe they can't see each other. Gosh. Is it because of this little boulder here? Ooh, shit. There we are. I'm just warming up. Come on, you surely you can. Worm. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Oh God. Let's see, get you converted to our cause. Slice up the hunger. Good. And let's just chop them up big time. Ooh, fuck. There we are. Get the AOE paralysis going. And juice up again because we need it. Ooh, gosh. Gosh, we are, like, spreading our attacks between both of them, and that is no good. Okay, there we are. That'll do. Let's see, what do you have on you? Healing potion. And, eh, okay. The huge. Nothing too amazing. Let's see, let's bring up our map here. Con Amphitheater. All right. Yeah, that's the one that we saw earlier from the main, like, lobby area. Okay, and look, they've got a big old thing here, just sort of crumbled. Alright, well, there's the amphitheater. Let's head on over this way. See what other mysteries lie within. Ooh, look. More of it just kind of overgrown. Maybe the hungers did this? Maybe they smelled something good inside, right? Hmm. Get some more of these. There we are. Great. Okay. Does this connect back to an area we were at before? No. Does not seem to be the case. Hello? Oh. Who's there? I don't know. It's not me. In your sneak mode. Okay. What have we got? Oh, look. A big sexy room. Okay. Send out some of that shit. And... They find each other? No, they really just don't give a shit, do they? Huh. Yo, do you think their disguises are working on each other? And that's it? Hello? Who's there? Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, they see each other dressed up like that, and they're like, oh, that's just another heretic. Right? They're dressed up. They're wearing the proper disguise. It works for them, but not for me. <laughs> All right. Let's drink some blue here. Get you on our side. Can I speak to any of them? Hmm. No. Alright, it shows the icon, but whenever I tap E to engage in conversation, nothing. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can't mess this person up. There we are. Alright. Jeez. Get some more of this going. Alright. More. 
Okay. Yep. There we are. And then take care of some of this. Too bad they don't. These folks don't have unique dialogue, right? They're facing down the Lord Shea Gorath himself right here. You think they would have something to say about that? Jeez, where are you guys even coming from? There are a lot of you. All right. Let's see. In fact, let's get Gordon out here. Get all these. Man, look. You hear that? More of them somewhere. All right. There we are. Juice that up. Good. Jeez, squirrely as hell. Alright. Good. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck, you broke my weapon! Alright. Jeez, do I have a backup? Let's see. It's been a while since we had something like that happen. No, shit, we don't even have a backup. Alright. Here. Let's wob a jack one of them. Let's see. There we go. Oh no, actually, let's convert you. Or did Gordon- yeah, Gordon already got him. Good. Oh shit, look at that. Nailed him, Gordon. Oh shit, you didn't- Oh, I dropped it, you disarmed me. Oh fuck, alright. It was getting pretty low, but... I think it would've lasted through that fight. Okay. Let's power it up again. There we are. Throw on some more. Yep. Just got a lot of 300s here. There, that's good enough for now. Okay, Staff of Fire, Potion of Absorption, Oceanic Journey. Okay, over here. Another Oceanic Journey. Weird. Okay. Oh, look! Yeah, it really does look like an amphitheater. Wow! Okay. Huh! Cool, it's not like in the core game where it was like, Oh, the halls of viewing, and it's like, Yo, this ain't even a hall! <laughs> <laughs> right? Or it's like, ooh, the dark dining den. It's like no one is in here. This is neither a den nor a place to dine. What What are you even talking about? It, it was just like complete nonsense names for some of the sections. Here, yeah, this looks like a, an amphitheater, right? All right. What have we got here? Wisp cores. I guess I'll take them. All right? Any of these weird things? Novice calcinator. Novice, novice, yeah. Standard flame stalks. Pick into that. See what they've got. 78 Gs, I guess I'll take it. An Alembic, standard issue. Heal on up as well. Let's see. Oh, hey. A scroll. Oh, hey, this is a note. You know what? F it. We'll read it right now. Let's see. Scroll. Dearest brother, I just don't understand it. We always dreamed of a place to host the elaborate spectacle, and I finally found it. These ruins feature a grand tiered room suited to a great display, and I promptly persuaded our brothers and sisters to migrate here. Yet, the elaborate spectacle has never gone as planned. Perhaps you can tell me where I've gone wrong. Permit me to walk you through the process, step by step. First, we acquired our lucky participants. Truly, I would give anything to be in their place, but I can understand their frenzied protests and struggles in the excitement of the moment. We have to stray to the swamps to find them, though some are more easily obtained from the nearby roads. Once we've returned to Cannes with our participants, they're each given private quarters in which to be prepared for the event. Each room is lined with the finest wines and cheeses, and comfortable bedding in the peasant chic roll style. My personal steward visits each of them soon after arrival and asks what they would like tailored for the spectacle, but they invariably ask for suits of armor. Our stores are stocked to the ceiling with the finest velvet silks and furs. How am I supposed to provide them with chainmail? Each participant is provided with ink and pen to practice their prose, but again, their behavior escapes me. You should see some of the horrid things they've written. Lengthy letters to loved ones saying goodbye as though they were dying of a plague, or horribly bloodthirsty curses against their fellow participants. Oh, and I will not offend you with descriptions of the ones who think themselves artists. I suppose that their writings could have clued me into what would happen next, brother. For that is when things get truly bizarre. 
Each time, on the day of the elaborate spectacle, after we've all gorged on suckling meats and pungent cheeses, the participants are escorted from their quarters into the viewing chamber, where we all eagerly await what we're sure will be a thrilling show. But that never happens. After the first time, we removed the decorative weapons from the walls, but they just bludgeoned and gored each other with whatever they could get their hands on. Loose stones, wine bottles, and in one case, a bone the participant must have filed to a point in his quarters. Why would men given a week alone to write and feed on wine instantly set murderously upon each other, rather than share a loving embrace? I simply don't understand it, brother. We always believed that the elaborate spectacle would be the greatest public display of shared pleasure, and it has, each time, ended a blood-soaked mess. Oh, didn't we hear about this in one of the books, the elaborate spectacle with Arden Sewell, like, getting it on in this great orgy or something? Because this is totally that orgy. This is it that we read about, isn't it? In one of the Art and Soul books or that we talked to at the Sicellum? Something like that? Hmm. I want to say that is the case. Anyway, perhaps the time has finally come to move back to Bliss and abandon our dream. Interesting. Okay. Flawed stuff. Crumpled piece of paper. Yeah, none of which we can actually read. Weird. This is totally the, the place then, isn't it? Right? With the orgy and all that, and how they, like, all died of poisoning or something? Right? Didn't Arden Soul, like, poison a whole bunch of people there? Something like that. People got poisoned. Alright. Look. I mean, it is supposed to be some sort of amazing orgy, but you got the wrong statues. Come on. <laughs> they were all out of the orgy statues! All they had were the depressed ones! Oh, no! <laughs> That's why the curse occurred. Alright. Let's see. Let's pop this open. What have we got? A few paths here. Can we go in through this way? Yep. Okay. Weird. I like a lot of these dungeons. They for real do have notes of their own, right? A sign of things to come in Skyrim land, huh? Let's see. Arena. Substratum. Substratum. Okay, we'll hold off on that for now, right? Huh. Interesting that this is actually... This looks like an amphitheater, but... <laughs> you know what? Earlier, I, for, I thought that we were in the amphitheater. This is the arena. What? <laughs> I take it back! None of it makes sense anymore. None of it. Alright. Let's see. Head on over here. And... Oh, shit. There we are. And take you out. Good. Warpless this time. wonder if that's significant. Okay, I'm assuming these aren't the same people that we had read about, right? Because the heretics must have just taken over after everyone left or some such. Left or died. I have no idea. Or maybe they became heretics. Oh shit, look. Oh my god, what a purple person. What the hell? Why is this person so purple? Transformed heretic. Huh. What? <laughs> Why is this the case? Look, this is the same area as earlier. What in the world? Yo, it's this person. They're giving off a purple light. Why? Is it because of a soul trap effect or something? Some sort of alteration? Huh. Let's see, if I blast them into the other room, does it... Yeah, it's coming off of their body. Maybe it's like a missing particle effect or something, and it just became purple, you know? Like, if you're missing texture, sometimes you get the purple, pink, and black grid. Weird. Okay, that's bizarre. Huh, they didn't write about that in their journal. Okay. So should we check out the amphitheater or the... Let's check out the substratum first, right? Because we definitely know there's another path to the amphitheater via the main lobby. Right? Okay. Let's go on down here. Arena substratum. Maybe down here we'll find, like, a whole bunch of people training. <laughs> Right? <laughs> They're all just practicing, and then there's some, like, cranky old lady and stuff. Oh my gosh, and there's a guy who's like, Oh my god, he's actually half vampire! Oh god, maybe this time we'll be able to save him. Right? 
All right, power this up. There we go. Good. There we are. Great. Okay. Grab the hunger tongue. Oh, and they'll be like a bizarro version of the creamy man here as well. <laughs> because this is like the Shivering Isles version of the arena. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be like, I don't know, what's something that's very, what's the opposite of cream? Something harsh and rough. Sandpaper man. <laughs> You've heard of the creamy man. Now, sandpaper man is here to rip your dick apart as you as he rubs all over you <laughs> oh god where's the creamy man <laughs> i guess is the implication that the creamy man was getting all over us as well <laughs> i mean certainly you know why wouldn't he <laughs> i wouldn't put it past him got some tan robes here huh i'll take them i guess relatively rare aren't they okay let's read this letter that we picked up Let's see, what is it? Not the predecessors, scented parchment, scroll... Oh god, what was it even called that I just picked up? Marilly's list? No. Is it scented parchment? It must have been scented parchment. Right? Scroll, yeah, because weathered letter and yellowed copy. Are these the same thing, by the way? No. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, F it. I guess we're reading this one, then. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, God. <laughs> there it is. Scented parchment. Their screams and battle cries are incessant by now, and the din of steel and training bags is overwhelming. They've been bringing more and more of us in here over the few weeks of my captivity, and the lust for each other's blood is reaching a fearful pitch. What am I going to do? I've never raised a sword or axe in my life. Just after I was captured, a well-mannered abductor came and asked if there was anything I wanted. I asked for some food and was brought fine pickled ballywog and wine. How was I to know that I should have asked for a weapon? Since then, they've only brought wine, cheese, and silken clothes too tight for my body. They'll kill me. Not first, though. No. They'll want to eliminate the more immediate threats, and then come to me. Tear me apart screaming. What's worse is that I think we might have this whole thing wrong. Our captors are no our captors no longer speak to us. Indeed, they seem afraid of us. We're fed well and they seem more easily able to provide us ink, paper, and delicacies than the iron shod armor the others have put in such high demand. I hope they don't pit us against one. What? I hope they don't pit us against one. Surely I'd be tortured before the mercy of a killing blow. Craven heathens. Save me, Sheogorath. Weird. Hmm. Okay. So, maybe they tried to get... They tried to have, like, a lust effect over this entire area, right? Some sort of horny enchantment? Like, you go in here like, Ooh, man, all of a sudden I'm horny as hell. I'm lustful. But someone, uh-oh. Like getting three wishes from a genie, but it turns out the genie is a massive asshole. And you know what? Boom. Instead of regular, like, horny, good fun lust, it's, uh-oh, I have bloodlust and I must murder. I must kill everyone. Good lord. What a horrific twist. <laughs> oh, look, I can actually physics smack it. Okay. Is there anything up there in that rafter thing? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Huh. What do you have? Anything on you? Perfumed letter. Oh, everything is so nice smelling. I don't remember them mentioning that they brought him perfume, but I guess so, right? It checks out. Let's see, just a plain head as well. Perfumed letter. Finally, somebody sees me for what I am. I'll admit, I was taken aback by their approach. A paralysis spell hardly seems like a proper token of respect, but I've given it some thought and they probably didn't think I would willingly address, associate myself with them. In fact, they were probably right to do so. If I hadn't been paralyzed while they carried me away, they probably knew I'd have called my army of flying scamps to chew their eyes out. But here I am, and I have to be honest. I was beginning to worry that the world didn't appreciate me until now. These guys get it. They brought me all the cured meats I can eat, 
and I can scarcely empty a cask of wine before another is rolled into my room. Oh, they don't get too close. They know. A wayward glance from me could break their spines. They needn't worry, of course. I know why I'm here. I saw all the other combatants. They heard of me. Beldring, the grand champion of the Felgurad Arena, and favored bodyguard of, to Emperor Kinpo and his thousand feathered cap. Of course, they'd want to see me become the champion of the Shivering Isles as well. So I train, and they bring me all the equipment I need to do it. I don't think it will be much longer now. No. I'll peel the skin off my enemies for the glory of Paljania and the entertainment of these servants who have been so dutiful in their desires to witness my grandeur. Oh, God. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So that does confirm that, in fact, the Shivering Isles and many of the Plains of Oblivion do get people from other places, right? We've talked about before how the Oblivion Crisis with Lord Dagon may have impacted places beyond Tamriel, right? Like Akavir and shit like that, right? But you would have to assume, and so far we haven't seen it, probably due to lack of budget or something, right? Or fear of creating too much lore about stuff that isn't directly related to the Shivering Isles. But we haven't seen anything from people who are, like, I don't know, like snake people or something, or the other animalistic-sounding folks, right? We haven't seen anyone like that here. But is the assumption that they do exist here? We just don't see them, right? I have no idea. It's something interesting to consider. Like, does... Do the Daedric Princes hold any power in continents beyond Tamriel? I assume so, right? Why wouldn't they? Huh. Interesting stuff. Alright, yeah, in fact, they definitely do, because there's a... Oh, I forgot who it was, but there's a group of them who are all vampiric, right? They've all made some sort of dealing with Molag Bal. Hmm. Fascinating. Alright. Maybe that's where some of these Daedra come from. I don't know. Who can say? Maybe maybe what appears to be Daedra is, like, really someone who has been mutated, right? Weird. Like, they see the flesh Atronax... And they're like, oh god, what the fuck are these weird-looking freaks? They look so fucked up and stuff. But in reality, they're just... We, we totally can clock them and say, like, yeah, these are just, like, stitched together abominations, right? Hmm. Let's see. Gold, grab some of that. Anything up there? Nope. Another little candle on top. Okay. Let's see over here. And let's pop this open. Oh, gosh. Where's this go to? Keeps going down here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bunch of hungers. Okay. Maybe this is what the, what came of them, right? They became hungers. I don't know. Let's get Gordon out here. Drink some blue as well. Good. Throw out some perp. Excellent. Good. Get perp on all of them. Good, good, good. Let's start slashing away. There we are. Oh my god, look at his tongue! <laughs> look at his tongue! Yo, I could swing him around by his tongue like fucking Mario! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god, swing him into some bombs or something! <laughs> Fuck! Alright, there we go. Oh, did his tongue sh No, his tongue is still out! Oh my god, his tongue stayed out and extended! Oh yeah, look at that! That is a weapon! Oh, that is a weapon if I've ever seen one. <laughs> do you use it as like a sword? Or do you like... <laughs> do you rip the entire head off and use it as like a bludgeon? <laughs> just hold that by like the haft. That's the haft there and then just smack him around with its skull. <laughs> Look at him go. Here, Gordon. Gucci Gucci Goo, Gordon. I'm going to tickle your gobbler thing right there. Ooh, he didn't like it. <laughs> Fuck. They all... Yeah. Look, it has to be distended. <laughs> Fuck, what does their actual tongue look like if I drop it on the ground? Let's see. We picked up a few. We have to see how long and ridiculous they appear. Let's see, let's drop one. Yo, this is it? This is their little tongue? Oh my god, yo, look! This thing is tiny! 
I know tongues and stuff can like shrivel up and especially if you get uh I mean I don't know that, right? <laughs> Obviously I don't know about tongues shriveling up. Why would anyone know about tongues shriveling up and stuff? But <laughs> I know they can like be compressed given enough pre that sounds like I'm still a cr I'm, I'm psychopathic murderer. <laughs> I'm not murdering people and, t and stealing their tongues or I'm not stealing people's tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the game. <laughs> but look at this. Oh my god. That is like three, four times the length. Jeez. I want to chop that one off and use it as a weapon. Look at this guy. <laughs> I love that. All right. What else is around here? Let's see. Any important skulls? Participant skull here. We should search the skulls, right? That's a good way to discern which ones we have looted and not. Let's see, just bone meal on you. Over here, throw this one. Who have you got? Bone meal. Probably nothing here of import, right? Let's see. Yep, just bone meal. And that's every skull here searched. Yeah. Where are they coming from? Is that like a trap door of some sort? It must be. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. It totally looks of a different design from that ceiling. Huh. Okay. I wonder how we would activate it. Maybe we jumped over it. We must have done, right? Okay. 77 gold. Take all that. Speedy uppy time. Good. And let's see. Anything else around here? Hmm. Can and arena. Here we are. Head over this way. In fact, you know what? How come so many of the Daedric Princes have shapes that are similar to men in myrrh, right? I guess, I guess hair sign sometimes, well, hair sign doesn't actually look always animalistic, right? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Nothing shit. Worry about, I guess. <laughs> hey, you all. Maybe, like, maybe Hermamora actually takes on the visage of <laughs> some sort of, like, species that we're unfamiliar with. Let's see, I want to get him while his tongue's out. Nope, didn't happen. All right. We had our fun. There we go. Getting juicy. There we are. Eat butt. Great. Okay. Take care of you. And do we need to juice up yet? Nope, we still got some more swings. Jeez, look at him run. Oh, fuck. There we are. Perfect. Good juice up now. Excellent. And get you. Whew. Cool. What have you got? Anything? Hush and stuff. Yo, these guys reappeared here, right? Yeah, look, there's the purple person. Huh. Weird, maybe there's like a scripted event to where some of these dudes will just appear after you go through a certain point? Interesting. Because surely they didn't respawn already, right? Weird, weird, weird. Alright. Take all that. And we totally missed that chest. <laughs> All right. Let's speed on up and check this out down here. The amphitheater. Okay. Good. Okay, let's juice some of that up. Yeah, I suppose if they did introduce... Like a, a species that we're unaccustomed to, right? Like there was an Akaviri Hootenanny whatever person... Hanging out around here, like a snake person. They would have to clearly denote that they are from Akavir, right? Otherwise, a lot of people could get confused and say like, Oh, that's that's a being native to this plane of oblivion, right? Where in reality, they were, they were abducted from wherever the hell. Okay, let's see. Anything else around here? Oh, oh God. Anything else over here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, here we are. Good. Take care of you. All right, there you go. Good, good, good. Okay, all right. Oh shit, oh God, we're out of juice. Are we completely juiceless? Oh no, say it ain't so. We have plenty of these units laying around, but they may all be empty. Let's see, no they are not. Okay. Let's see, it's empty, empty, empty. Oh, shit. 
Yep, they must all be empty for now. Okay, here. Let's change this around. There we are. Get rid of all that. And let's bind some new ones, right? Okay, let's see. What are ones that have some filled souls inside? Get some common. There we are. How about that? Lesser. Let's just get the big stacks, right? Get rid of a lot of these petty ones. There we are. Good. Okay, excellent. We will have to load up quite a few here. There we are. Uh, yeah, that was fine. Oops, wrong one. Good. And take care of you. Excellent. Whew. What have you got? Anything? Road weapon, dire wound. I'll take it. Okay, heal on up. And let's consult our map, see exactly where we are in this place. Alright. Let's go on over here. Good. So was this like... Oh, look. Yo, maybe this is the area where they were going to all have their big super orgy. Huh? Alright. Let's see. At first I, I thought that they were going to do like poetry readings, but... No, this has got to be like the orgy zone, right? Okay. Oh, God. Making a terrible noise. There we are. Everyone get that one guy over there. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Let's drink some blue. There we are. Getting them. I'll get you. Great. Okay. Cool. Let's get Gordon out here real quick as well. Shields up as well. There we are. Cool. And let's take care of some business here. Fuck up this bald guy. Oh shit, Gordon is down. Get him back out. Here we are. Gotcha. Woo! Let him go. Alright, juicing up again. Need more juice. Yeah, we need to just apply a shitload here, don't we? There we are. Good. Okay, and take care of you. Excellent. Ah, easy does it. Alright, let's keep juicing up some more here. Look at this, we're clearing up so much room in our bags. Okay, what have you got? Lightning Storm, a whole bunch of shit. I guess a lot of those, the petty ones, we must have picked up off of the Forces of Order, right? Because we killed quite a few that had soul gems on them already. And look, speaking of soul gems, heretical thoughts. Oh. Huh. Weird. Okay. Maybe this isn't where they were going to have the orgy at, then. Oh, no, it probably was, and then the heretics repurposed it. I see. Okay. Gotcha. Alrighty. Maybe they were just trying to make some porn here, right? From the looks of it. You know, just have everyone... The, the main attraction be down here on this pedestal among the hungers. Then everyone up here just kind of like, you know, having a good look. Having a watch. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, what else is around here? Gold, pearl, ebony arrows. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Hmm, did we check this one? No, we did not. Okay. None over there. Over here? Nope. Okay, fair enough. Look at these little tiny steps. Okay. And we checked all the bodies, I believe. Okay, whip this open. And we looked everywhere in there. Okay, so we've got this other section now. Let's do a quick save just in case. Man, this place is quite big. Right? Let's see here. Over this way. And... Where are you? Oh, shit. Check out this. Oop, missed him. <laughs> I like as soon as he pulled out his weapon. Haha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got an axe! <laughs> Fuck. Alright. What, what else do you have? Potions, scrolls, all useful. Okay. Oh, look! Yeah, some of the bedding. Right? We heard about it. Hey, look! See, this statue should have been in the orgy room. Come on. Was, oh, look! Salonia Viria's skull. Now, that is definitely one of the ghosts. Not only because it's a named skull, but I explicitly remember Salonia. Okay. Anything else around here? Well, I don't explicitly remember them, but I explicitly remember the name. <laughs> okay, cool. Anything else around here? Surprised there's no note. 
The last few had like a little scroll or note that we could read. I don't think it got blasted or something. Yeah, I guess not. Look, yeah, they had like the sexy candles out as well. Well, evil but sexy at the same time. Okay, anything else? Nope. Seems to be it. Okay. Bring up our map. Look, we have another fork. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> fork! <laughs> fucking big head just plows right through it. <laughs> Smashes through the wall like a fucking Kool-Aid man <laughs> looking for forks. <laughs> he starts trying to collect roads as well. Big head has never heard of these fork roads before. <laughs> <laughs> fucking big head. What a guy. All right. There we go. Easily dispatched. Have you got potions and scrolls? All right, and bed rolls. Chest here filled with a bit of money. Look at that blood stain. Good lord. Just concentrated around that one area. Okay. What have you got here? Any interesting items in there? Dump them all out. Screaming maw, flame stock. Nope. Novice, novice. Apprentice. Bowl, bowl. Okay. Weird. Oh, wait, hey. Oh, no, I was looking at the bowl behind it. I thought for a second I could actually loot those mysterious candles. Okay. Oh, look, there is actually another path down there. Let's see, or a doorway out of this section, I should say. Okay. Take care of this dude. Is there anyone else in here? No, I was thinking we could maybe have them fight each other, but... Eh, what can you do? All right. Fortunately, a lot of them are Altmer, right? Easy to take out with spells. Here we are. You know what? Now that we're out of our standard, like, heal over time potions, we've accumulated quite a few of the, like, strong healing potions. We should bind some of them here. Let's see. Yeah, strong potion of healing. There. Good. Could come in handy. Repair that up. And anything else around here? Hmm. Nope, seems to be it. Ooh, the Great Hall. Okay. Have we been in here before? Yes, we have. Okay, so this was the other entry area. I see. Okay. Huh, should we may do a quick run-through? And make sure that we checked out every section? Here, let's speed our ass up. And let's check. So here we've got... Yep, the arena. And there's like the sub-arena or whatever it's called. Ah, good. Oop, this way. There we are. And up here. <clears throat> See, we can actually afford to check all these. Okay. Substratum, yeah. Sub-arena. Okay, Halls of Tranquility. Let's check up and over here. Whoops. Oh, maybe a little too fast. Okay. <gasps> Oop, good. And let's head on down here. Great. Alright. And then over here, yep. We checked everything in this section. Okay, let's head on back. Good. Up and over this. Let's see, and then we need to head on over here to the Halls of Tranquility. Okay. Good. Through here. Ow! Great. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's very difficult to tell where I'm even going. Okay. Great. Up through here. Nope. Gotta keep going around, I think. Yeah. Okay. Keep on going. <clears throat> oh, down here. This fucking speed run as hell. Okay. Good. And then... Over in this area. That goes back to the Great Hall. Okay, well, we may as well go over there, right? Okay. Whoops. Over this way. Good. And then up and over here. Because I was kind of expecting a, I don't know, a note or a journal entry from something to sort of like tie everything together, but maybe not. Okay. And then over here. Yeah, this goes back. Okay. Yeah, back to the realm of Shergorath. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it can pretty big. I don't think it's a, quite as cool as the last one, as a Broca, right? But very neat in its own right. I feel like we got spoiled on a Broca and all of its fantastic booby traps, right? Okay, cool. Well, holy shit. 
Surprisingly big though, right? Maybe even bigger than a Broca? I'm not sure. A Broca was fairly big. Comparable size at the very least. Alright, well, holy shit, when next we come back, I suppose, why not just start the next one with a nice dose of heading over to Felmore, where we have, I think, our last side quest that we have not yet obtained that's, like, unique. We still have the one, of course, to where we have to get armor pieces and all that shit, right? And we still have to find these pants, right? What is up with these pants? Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's drop off the, the skull, right? Lest we forget. Yeah, let's drop off the skull that we had found. All right. And then we'll do a little bit of reading. Some of the stuff that we found in a Broca. All right. Part of me regrets not actually reading it there at the time, but eh, we're able to piece it together. Okay. Salonia Viria. What is you? Oh. Ooh. All right, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's very unceremonious, isn't it? Okay, cool. So we're only missing three. One of which we're pretty sure we're going to have to activate some sort of console command to go through a wall, right? And otherwise, we should be good to go. Okay, cool. Lorenz Bog Trotter. Yeah. All right. Neat, neat, neat. Okay, cool. Well, when next we come back, like I said, we will head on over to Felmore, which I have had marked on our map for a while now. And we'll check out whatever the side quest is there. And then we've got plenty of other side areas still remaining that we've already uncovered but haven't gone into. We still need to check out Zedillion, right? And we have a quest here. We, maybe we'll pick up the... Depending on how long we spend at Felmore, we'll pick up the quest for the armor pieces and all that. And also, this time in between videos, I'll finally be able to uh, <laughs> power level up our mercantile. I might try and get it all the way up. I'm not sure. How, how far am I away from... Ooh, seven points, and they're the seven hardest ones. Might be able to do it. Might be able to. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, but for now, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this time? But... Letter Draft from Obroka. Let's see here. Letter Draft. Alright, relatively short, especially compared to some of the ones that we found in Khan. Letter draft. I don't care if you think it's wise, just build the device. I've lined your coffers with enough gold to feed half the aisles, and you never batted an eyelash before now. You've put in mechanisms that crush bones and sear flesh. Why should this one be any different? Oh, is this for the cremation thing? Maybe. The concept is as simple as it was when we first discussed it. Use a few of the standard statuary we've installed, but modify the enchantment. A low-grade shock and some strong restoration should do the trick. Oh, what? Huh. There may be a few days between charges on an enchantment like that, but do you honestly think any more will be needed? Look, they acknowledge the game mechanics right there. Very cool, right? Or, yeah, I guess that's not how it works in Oblivion, does it? Interesting. Weird. I would say, okay, maybe that's understandable considering that maybe they, they did originally have Morrowind's enchanting system in here, but this is the DLC. They would have had time to have everyone acknowledge, like, yeah, we aren't using Morrowind's, where it automatically recharges over time. Weird, yeah, Oblivion's don't recharge over time at all. Interesting. Huh. All right, I'd like to think that we've grown to be friends through the restoration of this place. If nothing else, build this last construct as a favor to me. A broker will be around for ages to come, and it needs a caretaker. Who else to fill that role, if not me? Huh. Okay. Interesting stuff. So, was this to, hmm, keep this person alive or something? I'm not sure. I guess so. To keep the... Mal... Malifont... Clonfont... Person alive? Weird. I don't remember finding this device. Was there more of a Broca that we missed? Maybe. I don't know. Very strange. Yeah, but I guess this also acknowledges that the canonical way... Of how enchantments work in the Elder Scrolls is how it works in Morrowind. And I think Skyrim, right? 
Don't enchantments slowly recharge over time in Skyrim, or am I misremembering? I may be misremembering. Though, of course, it's totally free to be retconned. It's not a huge detail, is it? It's not like anything super important depends on it working this way. Yeah. Okay. Fascinating stuff. Learned a lot of weird and bizarre things, <laughs> right? Some strange interconnectivity going on with Khan and Arden Soul, it seems like. I wonder if that was the exact place where Arden Soul did the wild ass orgy thing, right? Huh. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Until next time, please take care of each other.